So this is kind of a tricky question, I would say, because it let you think in terms of cystic fibrosis because of the background clues, and it might let you even think in terms of ABPA because of the fact that this patient is having central bronchiectasis and mucus plugging. But 100% you can rule out alpha 1 antidepressant deficiency because it's going to present with young emphysema that's going to be pan SNR, lower lobe predominant, and plus or minus liver disease. So that's not the case here. 100% option D is not the diagnosis. So why not cystic fibrosis? Cystic fibrosis doesn't only present with lung problem. It's going to present with steatoria, malabsorption, and growth failure along with that it might present with pancreatic diabetes sweat chloride will be high so all these are not mentioned so there's not enough in the question to make a diagnosis of cystic fibrosis and it's not abpa either because abpa is going to occur in the background of asthma or probably cystic fibrosis and it's a type 1 hypersensitive reaction where ig and eosinophil levels will be high and on top of that uh, you should have evidence of aspergillus hypersensitivity like skin test must be positive to aspergillus or the aspergillus specific ig or igg must be positive so nothing is mentioned so it is not allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis either so the only thing that fits into the diagnosis primary ciliary dyskinesia because patient is having urta symptoms lrta symptoms clubbing that suggests some lung problem along with that patient is having uh, coarse carpentation that is suggests your bronchiectasis and yes ct is also suggest your bronchiectasis and patients also having infertility which is very common in patients with both primary ciliary dyskinesia as well as cystic fibrosis but here as i said you don't have enough to diagnose cystic fibrosis so i'm going to go for primary ciliary dyskinesia remember the reason for infertility in cystic fibrosis absent vas difference that's also a very important question in exam and if the patient with primary ciliary dyskinesia is also going to have situs inverses that is called as carter jenner syndrome the organs will be malpositioned